Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about this box that I have here in front of me. And it's called the Thermal Strike Portable Heating Box. And what it is here is it's a, another option in the line of uh, portable heating units that you can take items that you can't put, say, in a washer or dryer or that you don't want to spray with pesticide and put them in this box and heat them up for the full length of time. And what it's going to do is it's going to kill any bugs that are on the outside of that item and possibly penetrate into the item and kill anything inside of it as well. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of show you the box real quick, talk about its intended use, and then talk quickly about how I see it fitting into uh, the general scheme. And so the first thing I want to say is that, of course, the box comes with an instruction manual. And, you know, over top of anything that I say today, you should be following the instruction manual, you know, in all of its detail. That's going to tell you how to use this unit properly, and so that's the first thing you want to do, follow the instruction manual that comes along with it. That being said, let's take a quick look at it. And so what we have here is we have a box that's actually composed of a corrugated plastic. And we'll take the lid off, if I can, and we'll tilt it forward. And what you'll quickly see is that you see this lined material in here. This is actually a heating film. And so what it does is that there's an electrical plug that comes out of the back of the unit here, which I don't need to show you because it's just an electrical plug. And you connect the two plugs together, and you plug it right into a wall. And so actually I'm going to leave the lid off for a second. And what it's going to do is this film is going to heat up, and then by conduction, the actual heat is going to move its way through this box. Now, what you're going to do though is if you look at this, and you can see the bottom, it's kind of a folded corrugated plastic. If you just put an infested item into here, and it starts to heat up, the bugs may fall off, and they actually have the ability to potentially escape the heat. And so what you're going to do, and this, again, this is all in the instruction manual, is you're going to use plastic bags. The unit comes with some, and the manufacturer says you can use most of your, you know, two mil garbage bags in this unit. And you're going to put your items inside of this bag, and you're going to put the bag in this. You can also set the unit up with the bag already in place if you'd like to. And you're going to put the unit, the items in this bag, and then put the lid right on top. And so what that's going to do then is as the items heat inside that bag, if the bugs flake off, they can't escape the heat. They're stuck inside that bag, and they can't escape the unit itself. And so there's really not much else to say about the unit. You know, again, follow the manufacturer directions. It also comes with a little portable uh, temperature sensor that you can take and put inside the suitcase or whatever you put inside of it, and then it'll monitor the temperature inside this box to make sure that you got it to the appropriate temperature. 120 degrees is the temperature you're trying to achieve. And you're going to let this sit, and in the instruction manual it says eight hours. Um, Really, you want to follow what the instruction manual says. So if it says eight hours, you want to leave it for eight hours. And so what you do is you plug it in, you put everything in place, you put the lid on top, and you let it bake for however long you need to let it bake for. And that's basically it. There's not a ton to say about the unit beyond that. Um, you know, I've played with the unit, I've tested the unit. I think it's a good option. Um, what it really is, is it's a more cost-effective option of the portable heating devices that are out there. There are some really good portable heating units out there that have been in place for a couple years now. And, you know, like I said, they're good options, um, but many of those options cost, say, $275, $300, $350. This one retails for about, you know, not quite half, but almost that, and it's just a more cost-effective option. And so now, that being said, there's obviously things that you may lose a little bit with the more cost-effective option. I talked about it before being a corrugated plastic. Well, obviously, that's not as, you know, durable as some of the fabric units that are out there that have a more durable fabric on the outside. And so to me, this is the type of unit that if I were using it at home, and this is just my opinion, I would probably set it up in one place and just leave it there. I wouldn't continually break it down, set it back up, break it down, set it back up. Because over time, you may lose some of the durability with this unit. But again, it's about what you're looking for. You know, when you look at the portable heating units that are out there, I kind of compare it to cars. You know, do you want a Toyota Camry or a Honda Civic? Or do you want an Audi or, you know, a BMW? And that's really what you're looking at. You know, they all work quite fine, and you should all follow the manufacturer directions with them, but they're all good units. And so it's just really what you're looking for. You just need to be aware of what you're paying for, and that's what I'm trying to communicate to you guys now. And so the other thing you want to be uh, aware of is that a lot of these portable heating units, and this is just my personal opinion, but a lot of these portable heating units recommend putting full suitcases 
inside these units. Um, I am not a big fan of that. I never have been. You know, uh, one of the other devices that are out there have been recommending that for years. You know, listen, you come home from a trip and you have a suitcase full of clothes. My opinion is that you can take those clothes out and launder them, put them in a dryer for 20 to 40 minutes on a high dry cycle if you can, and those items are now taken care of from a bed bug perspective. Why even risk putting a full suitcase in this unit and potentially not having the heat penetrate all the way through that suitcase? I'm not saying that it can't, but why even risk it? You know, just take the items out and put them in a dryer. Um, that you can. Now say you have a couple, you know, articles of clothing that you can't put in a dryer because of the tumble cycle, a delicate shirt. This may be the type of unit that you could put that in and that's fine. But I just have never been a fan of putting full suitcases in these units. Take the clothes out, put them in a dryer, and then take the shell of the suitcase or the suitcase and a couple items inside of it and put that in here and let that heat treat. Great, great option for frequent travelers, whether it be for pleasure or business. You know, I, I travel a lot, speak all over the country. I can come home and put my suitcase right inside of this, plug it in, leave it for the eight hours it's recommended, and I don't have to worry about infesting my home with bed bugs with that suitcase. And so that's the Thermal Strike Portable Heating Box. Um, again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, a more cost-effective option that's out there. I think it's a very viable option. I know some people that have purchased this and, and really like it. Um, but again, you know, it's not to downplay some of the other units that are out there. There's many good options. You just need to be aware of what you're purchasing, and that's why I'm here talking to you today. And so if you have any questions on this heating device or anything else that's out there, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.